I've been doing spin moves since high school. When I was watching the N1 mixtapes, I was like, oh, he broke his ankles. Oh, what a move. Oh. You know, so that was embedded in me. So I wanted to bring that to the football as a defensive player. You know, I'm a young guy, and I think I'm in my second year or so. You could think of a superpower. I felt like I was the flash in that game. You know, I was just moving faster than most that game. I've always taken a certain pride of being a closer. The game is on the line. I'm that guy who's going to make that play for you. So I remember saying to myself, if Ricky Williams does not double me, please, Lord, let this be a pass. Because I've been killing this offensive tackle the entire game. And sure enough, ready, set, hike, everything started to move in slow motion. I know that offensive tackle, he's waiting for me to do a spin move. He understands the game is on the line. But for me, I'm just going to give him straight 93 octane speed around the corner. You know, think of like NASCAR, you know, on those big tilted deals. Every step is just like you're spinning the earth with your feet coming around the corner low to the ground. The offensive tackle was just getting out of his stance. He was falling over himself. Ricky Williams tried to help out, but he couldn't. You know, we call it, you know, getting a single, getting a double, getting a triple, hitting a home run. You know, I'm trying to hit, you know, like a grand slam. I'm trying to get every. So I came with the big tomahawk down. The quarterback was going to throw the ball, but he couldn't throw the ball because I was on top of him basically in the first three or four steps. And I ended up sacking him, causing the fumble, and our team recovering the fumble for the absolute game winner.